this is not a spring chicken. Of course, the big news today is, well, do religion and politics mix? Well, the big news is the Catholic Church no longer has to, oh, wait a minute, pay for abortions and, well, you know, all of it. And uh, what is it? Um, conception. Conception and preventive care. Um, they don't have to pay for it, but they do have to provide it. Hmm. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Kemal with comments on the headlines of today. The president doubles down like he always does when he thinks he has the Republicans on the run. Oh, yeah, this morning he simply blamed the Republicans for this issue. No, he caused the issue because they said he is, he, okay, if they just simply get off, I mean, if I was a Muslim, I'd be ashamed of this guy because he totally refuses to admit he's a Muslim. He's anti-Christian, anti-Semitic. The whole world knows he is. And all he does is, well, I've been a Christian all my life. No, he went to a church that basically condemns everybody but the black, uh, mm -hmm. black individuals in the church. And um, he basically, he, he, he walked, okay, if people would just pay attention, he's only looking for, uh, be, he's looking to be the first minority president ever elected in the history of our nation. He knows that he can get 30 to 33 percent of the vote if he appeases the left wing of the party and a minority of the Afro-Americans and the Latin vote. That's all he's looking for. So he went way to the left and he comes up with this, well you don't have, I'm not, I'm not anti, I've worked for a year and a half, no I didn't. And then the last week, we, last two weeks we got, we knew this was coming up, so the last two weeks we got together and the Republicans decided to make it an issue to try to destroy this presidency and health care. But he came up with a plan today which basically says, F you to the churches because mm -hmm. you don't have to pay for it, but you still are required by law to provide it, which is the same difference. They, if they have to provide for abortion care and and um, and 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 birth control pills, that is the same thing mm -hmm. to everybody but Obama. Because I'm sitting there looking at Joe Biden's face. Mm -hmm. That meant he didn't know that Obama. He thought Obama was going to cave, and he comes out and. And Obama does, well, you have to you have to provide it, you don't have to pay for it, and Biden is looking. That's why Biden is not going to be vice president next time, he's going to replace her. Um, my guess is Hillary's going to be his nominee in order to try to bury the Republicans. And 28 more major airports will test lower hassle screening. Oh, that's really great. If you happen to have uh, a frequent flyer with Delta Airlines or American Airlines, which is in bankruptcy, then you don't have to go through the screening process. What? Yeah, and they uh, said, uh, when the guy said, uh, let's see, who are big contributors to the Obama presidential campaign? Oh, Delta Airlines and American mm -hmm. Airlines. What about the other airlines? They don't get the same privilege. Just Delta and American. Uh -huh. Oh, if you fly Delta and American out of Los Angeles, we don't have to go through the crap. Really? Yeah. Isn't that something? Somehow, does that sound like favoritism? Yeah. Yeah. And U.S. military to announce new roles for women. Oh, yeah. Uh, Obama is going to, okay, um, basically they put it this way. Mm -hmm. Every woman that has been caught in the Muslim world has been raped and beaten and everything else you can think of. But Obama thinks, well, I think that women should be on the front lines. They're not going to let them be in infantry outfits. They're not going to be let them in, in operative outfits. But they're going to let them that be shooting. And when you capture one, okay, uh, they basically were willing to sacrifice a whole unit to go get that one woman, or was it Guthrie or something, who was in the hospital. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. It's just like the military it should not have to sacrifice an army to go get a woman out because she shouldn't have been there. The thing is with um, with the with the Israeli women are taught to kill. Our women are not taught to kill. They, uh, uh, you can't, they said, uh, women are not capable of carrying the equipment, which means other guys have to carry it for them. Oh, see, that creates a whole nother thing. Oh, no, it is. I mean, I, um, I'm listening, for instance, one of the people, one of the newsmen, you, he's actually still a reservist. He was basically a demolitions expert and a, and a sharpshooter for the United States Army. He said, if a woman can handle her own equipment, then she should be in the field. 
But he said, I've never seen a woman that can handle the backpacks that we have to carry with us. Mm -hmm. Because they're not built with upper body. He said, yeah, he, said, yeah. he said, they can they can last all day long walking. He said, I, he said, I've also never seen a woman that I could outlast on a, on a march. Mm -hmm. Because they've got massive lower body strength. But they don't have the ability to carry the equipment, which means somebody else has to carry the equipment for them. And that basically... And, uh, and they basically have to provide separate facilities for women in the field. See, all that, that all creates problems. It causes massive problems. Yeah. But Obama basically is, he's going to appoint a woman to be the next chief of staff. They all know it. He's making a, he's putting four stars on a woman that basically said doesn't deserve it because she's a pencil pusher. Mm -hmm. And he's going to do it because you can't be chief of staff without four stars. So he's bumping a person from two to four. Oh, wow. Yeah. Lucky her. Yeah. And Prince Harry named top of his helicopter training class. Oh, you think that they would name Prince Harry at the bottom of his class? Not if they want to stay in their jobs. Mm -hmm. I think all the members of the royal family, um, I, okay, one of my relatives <laughs> is, uh, is, is Lord Mountbatten, who was basically the uncle of the... He actually was, I think, uh, uh, other than uh, Philip, See, Philip's not an Englishman, he's a Greek, he was, would have been the king of Greece, but Montbatten basically actually was, no, actually he wasn't either, he was at the bottom of his class, he just became a hero in World War I, that's how he became, he wasn't very good either. And Russia pushes Syria reforms as bloodshed mounts. They're gonna, they're, they're, okay, Russia and China can stop the attacks in an instant, all they have to do is tell Syria to stop, but they're not going to, because this is an internal civil war that's going on, and um, the the side that the I mean, you don't think if they weren't well armed, they couldn't take this one city of homes in an instant? They've been fighting there for two months. And no charges against NYPD boss's son after rape claim. You know, because they uh, okay, they basically there's no they're not been able to verify. I love this one. Well, he repeatedly raped me and made me pregnant, and then I had to have an abortion. There's no evidence to any of the effect. She waited until last month when the uh, the father got a promo got an uptick and the son got moved upstairs. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden she files the claims, and basically what happens is they're they're basically investigating her for criminal misconduct. And a attorney general, uh, Bell Rules, should keep Sandusky inside home. I know. Um, the problem is, is that there is no truth. There, is, there is no proof that he did anything. Now they're well. His wife was ju letting guys jump. Well, I've seen his wife. I don't. I don't think that you know the football players knew that she was a good time. Mm -hmm. uh, they can't find any of the football players to testify to that either. Oh really? Yeah. You know, this is all from people that have filed suit against the, the, the school. Um, it, it's a witch hunt. Dow approaches 13,000 and maybe a record to come. Ah, uh, the Dow basically tanked the day on news that the economy isn't doing as well as what they said it was doing. Mm -hmm. And that January was based strictly upon people wishing and hoping that things would be different. Unfortunately, the public sentiment said, public dipped to a new low of confidence in the economy because they, they said, they all said, we all know no one's being hired. We all know that no one has any money to spend. So, and we all know that inflation is up. Other than that, we don't know anything, do we? And CDC bread beats out chips as the biggest salt source. I know. Uh, any, okay, the Obama administration wants to remove salt from the American diet. I hate to tell you, you can't can and preserve without salt. You know, uh, so basically he wants to kill the entire food industry in the United States. You know what will happen then? They'll import everything in from some other country because he's going to stop all our canning and our preserving. And rescued dog bites TV anchor during broadcast. Okay. She basically, uh, she put her face next to a dog. I wouldn't put my face next to a pit bull, period. They're not nice. I mean, uh, so, and they basically now, they have sanitized it by cutting, they're only using the piece where it's nice doggy, and they've cut the rest of it out, it never happened now. Well, part of it is, okay, she doesn't, she's not familiar with this dog, you should not have your face in a dog's face, especially if you don't know. I have vet, you know what you do to a dog, you hold the back of your hand up to the dog, and to see what the dog is going to do. 
And you know, no. if the dog takes your hand off, that's not a good dog. And my feeling is she's not used to being around animals. No, because, well, no, she had a couple of, um, she had a couple of animal control people there, and they said that they didn't, she moved towards the dog. That was, you know, there's nothing mm -hmm. you can do because they're sitting there like this trying to restrain the dog. Oh, they had the dog on a leash. The dog was on a leash. She, she made a move towards the dog that they weren't expecting, and the dog responded. It's just, uh, you know, the dog is not responsible for what a stupid person did. Yeah, that was just plain stupid. And a Monty Bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. There's actually nothing social about social media.